Oh no, wait. Hey guys, welcome back to some uh, Pokemon unboxing. Not that anyone's watching. Don't say that. Well, you have not. to pretend like people are watching. You have to have oh, confidence. I'm not stupid. That's not stupid. I'm not stupid. I know nobody's going to watch this. You're setting yourself up for failure. Well, no one's going to watch you this. No. No, it's just, it's unrealistic. So today, anyways, <laughs> we're going <laughs> to... Jesus Christ. <laughs> so we're going to open up two VMAX boxes. Uh, they were just recently released. And uh, one of them right here that I got is a Blastoise VMOX. VMOX? VMAX. So VMAX box. Oh, can you see that? Yeah, yeah, there you go. It's a Blastoise VMAX box. And uh, I think it comes with mostly Battle Styles packs. Um, so not looking forward to opening these. But uh, yeah, it comes with a... <laughs> Because they were so bad last time. We got nothing. But this might be a good one this time. You never know. Maybe, yeah. But it does come with a really cool promo card, both the, the small one and the large one, the oversized card. But they're they're very nice, very nice cards that we'll take a look at in a second. And uh, it actually comes with a bunch of deck sleeves and it's so cute. It has like the VMAX Blastoise on it. I like that red and black and blue color. I know, it's really cool. Here's the back of the box, kind of a little bit more art on here, not that anyone really cares what the back of the box looks like, but uh, yeah. Some and people do. Some people like it from behind. I guess so. We can do an unboxing video. So yeah, it comes with one foil promo card, one foil oversized card, 65 card sleeves, which is pretty nice because those card sleeves go for like 12 bucks in the Pokemon store, I think, mm -hmm. around there, 12 Canadian, four booster packs, and uh, yeah. Yeah, so that's the, the first one we'll open and that's the first one because because my favorite is the Venusaur box, which I also have here, right here. Oh, there we go. Get that in frame. Get a nice little shot of that. Nice little B-roll of that. And I really like how the, v the Venusaur box looks because just look at him. He it's looks so, like he's under an umbrella. He's so cute. It's like so thick. I love how they drew the really thick like it flower. Looks like, it looks like his bangs. Oh, is it his like teenager years? Yeah. That's really cute. I like that. <laughs> I don't know. I like how it's drawn. That's like one of my favorite designs is the Venusaur VMAX. This looks really good. And then again, we have the foil promo and the oversized promo there. So, and yeah, as you can, yeah. And as you can see, two battle styles. And it looks like there's a darkness ablaze and a sun and moon. So, you know, whatever. Maybe they'll release good packs again. It's okay. One. Oh, look, that's so cute. It's the whole it's full really version. Nice. That's so cute. That's kind of better than the other one. Yeah, well, yep. the problem with the blast, I'll show you guys. The problem with the Blastoise one is. It's like, like it's it, back. And it doesn't, I don't know, it doesn't really look like a Blastoise. It do, well, it is, oh, but. I didn't know what I was looking at earlier. Oh. Yeah, like there's his shell and it's like a bunch of cannons. And then there, there he face. is. Like I'd rather have like a front view of him. I don't know, it seems kind of, I know I get that you're going for like, his attack is like this cannons, but. It looks cool, but it's not as um, yeah. revealing as the Venusaur one. Yeah. The Venusaur shows more. But that's just, that's just my opinion. So, you know, fuck me, right? Just fucking, I should just fuck myself. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So here's the, the first box and we got the little foil card right here. And they always kind of, they always put it in there like that. Oh, okay, good. This is one of the good ones. They used to put them in so, like, tightly that, like, you would damage the card trying to get them out, and it was so annoying, but now they just kind of fall out, which is nice. So you got the foil card right there. I'll just, I'll hold it up to the camera so you can get a good look, and, uh, that's got the code behind it. And I'll, wow, look at yeah, that. Yeah, it's print. really nice. Really nice. Oh, I love that. Nice. I like that one a lot, so I'm just gonna, I'm gonna leave that one right away. And uh, we're using some vivid voltage sleeves today, and just be really careful with this. You can damage the cards putting them in the sleeves, like the edges, if you're being really, I don't know. Careless. Right. Yeah, I just gotta tap it there and put it to the side. And then here we got the, the giant one, which I never know what to do with these, but they're really cool. I just kind of have a little binder full of them, but... Yeah, they're a good display. Yeah, it'd be cool to get like a picture frame or something for them. Oh, so cute. Put it next to the family photos. Oh, just replace the family photos. Fuck them, right? Exactly. Who needs family when you got Blastoise? 
<laughs> and then we got uh, the uh, the sleeves, the card sleeves, which I really like because the Pokemon ones, they're kind of like silvery. Like a lot of them are either, I don't know, just like matte gray or like a matte. Brown. I bought ones that looked like this. I thought like in the store, they looked like they were silvery on the back. And I got home and they were fucking brown at the back. The light was different. The lighting in the store tricked me. Like, ah. Yeah. Uh. But yeah, those look really cool. That's pretty nice. And then uh, we got the boosters right here, which we will open up. Come on. Ooh, yeah. that's a nice, that's it a is. nice one. It is a nice one, but it also is not a nice set. It's boring, it's just the base set. But it's only boring because it's been out for a while, so I have like a million of them, right? Like, otherwise it wouldn't be that boring. Mm -hmm. I don't know why, it's the same, it's the fucking same packs as the other piece of shit. <laughs> Maybe. Find I hope so. I hope so. Well, let's let's start with like most boring to least boring. So we'll do Sun and Moon first. And, Is that uh, boring? Well, it's because it's the base set. So it's been around like it's the it's the first set that came out for, for Sun and Moon, I think. So it's just I don't know. There's not that many special cards for it. Um. It's been out since forever. It's same with like the base set Sword and Shield. Like it's also kind of a boring pack to get now. Gotcha. Nobody cares about this anymore. They care about the new cards. Well, you don't know that. There might be that one kid who cares, little Timmy. Maybe little Timmy will care. Do it for little Timmy. All right. Let's uh, guess it. Uh, electricity. Fire. Or... Psychic. None of us are ever correct. Psychic. So that pink one last time wasn't psychic, because that's psychic. What's the pink one? Fairy? I think it must be fairy. Yeah. But but I heard they got rid of fairy. Like they had it in, I don't know, whatever. Oh, I don't know. Okay, so first one we have is Sharjabug. It's like a there Minecraft Come character. On. Focus, focus. Okay, so Sharjabug. Crushing Hammer, which I'm pretty sure we got last time also. Herdier. Oh, look at him. Herdier. Popleo. Popleo's always cute. Look pretty at him. Pretty sure I have like 8,000 of this card. Oh, good. <laughs> He's very cute though. Stuffle. 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 Here, wait, my camera is not focusing. All right, we got a Stuffle. We got a Wingle. Oh, I like that art. Aw. That's from, where's it from? Where does it say? It's not focusing anymore. Anyways, technical difficulties. My camera was not focusing, but the artist is down here. It's Aya Kasube. Very nice. Yeah. Good okay. job, Aya. Ooh, I love this art. Whoa, that's pretty. Look at that one. A Dratini. Nice. It's like all pencil. I love the ones that are just like all pencil crayon-y. It's beautiful. It's, uh, this one is by... I can barely read that. It's at Nayo Kimura. Oh. Or Nuyo. I think it's an A. N-A-O-Y-O. Nayo Kimura. Oh. Very nice. I got Lilip. Aw, Lilipup. Oh, yeah. Lilip. That's Lilipup. what I always called it. <laughs> Lilipup. I got, oh, I got a reverse Another. hollow. But this one's a reverse hollow, which is a bit nicer. Reverse hollow incineroar and a uh, bruxish. We love bruxish. <laughs> like, it's like the same pack we had last time. Like, <sighs> waiting on those Japanese packs, you know, and get something interesting. All right, so this is Darkness Ablaze. I'm pretty sure there is a, at least a couple Charizards in here that we could potentially get. Two, three, three to the front. It's probably grass. grass. Oh, hey! hey. Oh, got it wow. Right. All right. So we got Rose Tower. That, what is that? It's a Simseer. <laughs> it's like uh, in in Pokemon Black and White, they had the you know how they have like the the three starters like fire, grass, and water. Uh -huh. They had three more that you get like early on that are another fire, grass, water, and you get to choose. I think it's like if you picked a water, it'll give you the strong one to it, so it'll give you grass. If you pick a fire, it'll give you water. Oh, interesting. So that's kind of how that worked. And then this is the evolution of Pansir. Oh, cute. Yeah. So, Larion. Lyra? Lyron. I don't know how to pronounce things. Skitty. Look how cute that Skitty drawing is. It's pretty cute. You want to name the artist? Saya Suruta. Awesome. Nice. Oh, there's Pan Sage. This one has a little broccoli on his head. That's cute. It's a monkey broccoli. There's Golette. There's Vanillite. Vanilla Ice. Vanilla Ice, yeah. Trap Inch. I love the... Oh, the crocheted. The crocheted Trap Inch. 
Ooh, a reverse hollow Jigglypuff, and ooh, an Eoi! Wow, look at that one, an ooh. Eternatus. That's pretty. Wow, that's one of the, that's the legendary for uh, Sword and Shield. Very nice. I know, wow, I wasn't expecting anything. Oh, wow. it's very pretty. Holy crap, that's really cool. Look at that. Just a V, but you know, it's still really cool. It's still worthy of a sleeve. Let that's just, something. We just, uh, I thought it'd be cool to put a sleeve of the Blastoise for the Blastoise pack. Open this up. <laughs> you okay there? Mm. You need something to yeah, get Oh, these sleeves are a bit different than the other ones. Ooh. They're kind of matted, but they're still a little... Oh, weird. Oh, they're not glossy. Oh, wait. It's like... Wait. What? It's... Oh. Like it... It's what? not clear. It's not completely clear. Oh. They kind of have a... That's awful. You don't like that? Well, because you want to... You want to see it? Yeah, okay, well let me just, I'll show you the difference here. This is from a uh, Vivid Voltage, you know, the one we just did. Look at that. It's like, this one's perfectly clear and glossy and shiny. I mean, you can still see everything, but why would they, why would they put it in a kind of opaque case? Yeah, that's weird. All right, well, anyways. Pokemon Company makes weird decisions. Very weird decisions. No, they're amazing and we love them. No, they're not. <laughs> but we didn't guess. I forgot. Dark. A haunch crow. Wow, he looks like a chonker. Look at this boy. Wow. Ooh, I like this Weeping Bell art. <laughs> Look at him, he's super cute. Seedra? I feel like we've seen this one. Have we? I think so. Oh, we've seen this one. Yeah, the little clay salandit. Bronzor, a Cacnea. We've seen this one. Yeah, a Spoink. We and saw this one too. We saw this one. Roly Coley, the Your worst favorite. Pokemon. The worst Pokemon. Ooh, him. a Reverse Hollow Trainer card, which is always nice. This is Corinna's Focus. Wow, that's actually pretty cool. I like that. And then we got a nothing. Who cares? <laughs> Conkledur. I'll sleep that. I'll sleep that later, just because. Just cause, just cause, I don't know. I don't know why. It's cool, but it's not immediate sleeve worthy, you know? You can decide later. Yeah. How you feel about it. Yeah. I'm still just thinking about how those... Sleeves are all They're weird. like opaque. That's so weird. What? That's like, that defeats the whole point of sleeves. Yeah. Cause you want to have it in your binder and then you open it up and you... You want to see it. Yeah. That's fucked. Yeah, I guess we're not using them. Wait. <sighs> Fire. 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 Okay. Oh, grass? grass again. Okay, grass again. So, Cheryl. There's Cheryl right there. <laughs> <It's> a, <laughs> All right. Rapid Strike Energy, which is to do, I don't know, Rapid Strike moves or some kind of, whatever gimmick they have with this thing. What's a Rapid Strike? I don't know. What's that? I don't know. What is that? It's Phoebe. Phoebe. <laughs> I can't see where I am. It says, during this turn, damage from your Pokemon's VMAX attacks isn't affected by any effects on your opponent's active Pokemon. Oh. Okay. Okay. Sounds like a useful card. There's Electabuzz. Very nice art again. There's Esper. Timber. Ooh, a Galarian Slowpoke with a little orange Homer Simpson head. <laughs> Corefish. Ooh, an Onyx Reverse Hollow with a nice art. That's very nice, actually. Yeah, I like that. That's very cool. Like that. And then the artist is... It is Nayo... Uh, Nayoa. What the hell? How do you say that? I can barely read it. Naoya Kimura. Naoya Kimura. Okay. I'm just stupid. No. Ooh, and a hollow bronzong. So we got like the nice hollow foil on that. But again. Not happy with that? Well, it's just like I said before, there's only like three cards that are worth getting in battle styles. And they're all like the super rare ones. So even if we open 50 packs, I don't know, I don't know. All right, next we're gonna open up the Venusaur, my favorite VMAX box. And uh, let's just fucking tear right into this bad boy right here. Just tear her open like a rabid elephant. What? Get Sorry, little... that image just played in my head. <laughs> Get the little, uh, put the code over here. No one cares about the code. Oh, it's so cute. 
But uh, yeah, look at that. That's really nice. Oh, I love, I the, love the yeah, I love the colors on it too. It's super cool, and I love the design and just like. And just as a card for the game, it's really good. 330 HP. He's beautiful. Some powerful attacks, and let's we'll leave it right here. Just be careful. Hold your breath. He's absolutely beautiful. Hold your breath. Oh! There we go. Get it. There we go. You gotta be extra careful. And then we also have. I'm gonna move these guys out of the way now. You've seen them, you've seen enough of them. Okay. We also have the giant. Oversized promo card. Even better. Which is even more beautiful. Look at that. Really nice. Look at his eyes. Ooh, yeah. And I love the texture they put on it. That they put like a little I don't know how to explain it, just like a little like circular kind of texture all over the whole thing. Mm. Which really just breaks it up a bit and look it makes it look extra premium. Mm. And then oh, of course yeah, we got the uh, card sleeves. Silver. Mm. So we come to the Venusaur box, so high hopes for this one because Venusaur is my favorite. But I don't know, man. It's, uh, it's not been our lucky week. It's okay. It's almost like this uh, hobby is a waste of money. No, it's not. And you shouldn't be doing this because you're flushing your money oh, shush. down the toilet. Blue. <laughs> nope, steel. All right, so this is a wishy-washy. We have that one. Uh, so this can go in this pile, wishy-washy. Rare candy, ooh -hoo. Ooh, that is rare. Best item in the game. A raquanid is a- I don't know a, what I'm looking at. It's a spider and his head's in a bubble. Oh, Yeah. weird. Like a little water spider. Sand dial. That's pretty cute. Picky peck. Picky peck. Carvana, Togonomaru. <laughs> Chincho. Chincho, a big masala. Malasada. Wow. Oh yeah, malasada with uh, the, the hollow, foil. reverse hollow, and ooh, rombi. Ribbon, ribbonbi. Ribbonbi. I can't pronounce these things. Man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like, just I'm just like wow, rombi. <laughs> Maybe I'm dyslexic. You're like, wow, <laughs> Pikachu. So here's the next one. Darkness ablaze. Come on. Maybe, maybe I gotta, maybe this is when I discover I'm dyslexic all this time, you know? Wow, what a way to discover <laughs> it. Wow. Wow. <laughs> One, two, three, what do you think? Um, 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 psychic. Fire. fire. I was you always fire. pick fire, but you didn't this time, that's why it was fire. Combuskin. That is, You're about uh, to kick the, your face. well, it's the penis Pokemon, too. Look at it. Yeah. It's just a huge dick. It's a dick well, and balls. some people see it. Well, everyone should see it. <laughs> Glimwood Tangle? What the hell is that? A Lyron? A Q-Fant? Oh, look how cute that Q-Fant is. It's pretty cute. It looks like a screenshot out of the anime. Yeah, it does. A Dino? 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 <laughs> Another or a pants here. We got the other evolution last time, but mm -hmm. there's its original form. A Mareep. Snubble. Aww. A, ooh, a Surfetch. Wow, look at a that. A reverse hollow Surfetch. That's pretty nice. And a Thiebel. That's pretty, that's actually pretty okay. Mm -hmm. I like that, that Surf. Yeah, I like the Surfetch. That's one of my uh, favorite of the Sword and Shield Pokemon. <laughs> Uh, are you getting boring? What's going on? Turret packs. Turret packs. Done. Let's done. speed run this. We gotta speed run this. Oh, Come on. Computer, wait. Computer. Oh, what's computer? Speeding. Oh, is it fine? Just move the mouse. Move the mouse. Move the mouse. Move yeah. The, yeah. Okay. Good. Is it still recording? Yeah. Cool. All right. Speed run. Speed run. One, two, three. Fire. <sighs> Fire. Yeah. Fuck. Nope. It is dark. Bruxish. I, I don't like this Pokemon. <laughs> the more you see it, the more you hate it. Ooh, a Buffalant. Look at that art. Very dynamic. Yeah. He feels like he should be like the evolution of Taurus. He's not? No. What? And the artist is Nogamiso. Wow. Yeah, he's just another Buffalo Pokemon. Ooh, a Level Ball. That's cool. Gliger. Electabuzz. Bellsprout, Bronzor, 
Murkrow. A heat more reverse hollow. I think I always thought this art was kind of weird. Yeah, I don't really know what I'm looking at. It's like, well, it's just it looks like weirdly simplistic for a Pokemon. Is it an ant eater? Yeah, it's like a volcano ant eater, and he has oh. like. And oh. Mr. Rhyme. That's okay. All right, we got one pack left, so fingers crossed we get something good in this bad bitch. Just open this guy up. Let's say a little prayer Ooh. that you have good cards for this one. Oh. Wait, I forgot how Halo goes. I don't know. I don't know, <laughs> I don't know what Halo is. Halo, Halo. Yeah, I know what that is. Blue. 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 Forgot to guess again. Sorry. You just love to just rush in there. <sighs> yeah. Energy recycler? What yeah. does that do? Uh, well, it shuffles up to five basic energy cards from your discard pile into your deck. That's actually pretty pretty oh, useful. Wow. Especially if the... Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, no. Urn of Vitality. Huh. A Girder. Sizzlepeed, the nice, cute little clay art. Oh, cute. Super cute. And that is by... Who is that by? Yukamori. Huh. Nice. All right. So we got a Glam Meow. We got a Slow Poke. With a yam purr. What's he? Is he eating something? He's eating a pokeball. Oh, cute! Look. Pokeballs are edible. Oh, yeah. yeah. Eat them. Uh, Murkrow. A reverse hollow. Ooh, ooh! I saw something interesting. A reverse hollow girder and oh, what is that? it's a Victini. It's really cute. A, yeah, Victini. Wow, that's look, cool. Look how big the eyes are. I actually honestly don't even know what this Pokemon is. Huh. Wow. Well, that's not too bad. That's a nice little note to end on. The very last pack, we got a, a V card. Nice. Cool. I will sleeve that one right away, but not, not with the Blastoise. I'll put it in a Vivid Voltage sleeve, because... Because you want to see it. Yeah. Honestly, um, I would say don't buy these packs. <laughs> like, honestly, because like this, these cost like 12 bucks each on the Pokemon Center store. And this pack costs like anywhere from 30 to $45. So that's, it's like at least a third of the price is these. Mm. And if they suck, like you might as well just get a different pack and buy these separately. Yeah. And it sucks because they're they're actually really nice looking. Yeah, anyways, um, kind of made a mess here, but. Yeah, oh well. Uh, pretty much all I got for this video, a little bit shorter. And next time I record, I'll be showing off some Japanese packs. I'm just waiting for them in the mail. And that'll be, uh, yeah, that'll be, that'll be the next one. So um, thanks for watching everybody. Uh, remember to smash that like button. Just fucking just like. No, just fucking, proper, proper. Uh, thanks for watching everyone. Uh, thanks for watching. And <laughs> thanks for watching my channel. Okay, wait. Thanks for watching my channel, guys. Um, my channel? Wait. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, I hope you liked it. Hit that like button if you did, and make sure to hit that dislike button if you didn't. Personally, I will also be hitting the dislike button. All right, bye. Hey guys, I just wanted to add a little quick note, and that is, I know that I said I don't really recommend these packages, but the one caveat to that is, if you like the promo cards that you see in these packages, sometimes those promo cards are worth the price of the pack themselves. So if you saw that VMAX box, Venusaur, or Blastoise, and you were like, I fucking love the, that Venusaur, I love that Blastoise, um, I would say just go ahead and get it, because there are cases where these promo cards become worth more than the pack themselves. So, kind of saying like, oh, well, it wasn't worth it from a price standpoint because the uh, the sleeves or whatever weren't very good, or you don't like the, what you got in the pack, like the poles aren't very good, or maybe like, because, you know, they kind of screwed us over and they put two Darkness of Blazes in there and a Sun and Moon pack instead of all battle styles, even though, it should have been all battle styles, but if you like the promo cards and the oversized cards, if you're collecting the oversized cards, like these packs, I, I would say they're still worth it because, yeah, like I said, sometimes the promo cards are worth more than the pack themselves, or even just money aside because I don't collect these cards for money. Um, just, yeah, if you like Venusaur and Blastoise, these, these cards are just fun to have. Like, that's kind of also partly why I bought it too, right? Like, I'm not going to sell any of these cards that I have. It's just for fun. So, yeah, uh, anyways, happy collecting and take care.